Hey everyone, this is another list review. This one was sent to me by Daniel Moody, and it is his list for not the London DT. Um, so the cancelled London DT, which I'm, I'm not sure if, if Daniel is actually bringing this list to another event instead. I know there's a, like a reserve event uh, that's being hosted by Russell, um, so he may use this list for that. Let's go and watch his list. So, it is a 17 order dice, 906 points, and here is the caveat. Um, it's 17 order dice and 1,000 points uh, because he has added one uh, inexperienced Wolfhamen, the multi rocket launcher. I don't know why he has not added this as a second or two, maybe because, I don't know. You can, you know, uh, you can add this as a second platoon, uh, third platoon, um, and just add it to the list. But there is a Wolframen as well. Um, this list was made using EC Army, and it is the Marquis Reinforced Platoon. So it's Partisans. Now, one thing I will say is um, most people playing Partisans look very very heavily at the pistol armed partisans. Daniel is not doing this and that is because he hasn't got the models for it. Perfectly fine. Um, just before anyone starts commenting, you should run pistol armed partisans. He knows. He just ha hasn't got the models. So he's got an inexperienced second lieutenant ta paying the tax and then marquee units. One, two, three, four, five, five marquee units in this first platoon. Um, he's equipped them in, in the same manner, all of them. So he has five rifles, they're green, one armed with a pistol, and a sniper in each unit. And this is what's really special about these marquee partisans. They can have a sniper, a sniper embedded in the unit, which means that he actually has five snipers. Yes, they are inexperienced, so they're shooting at minus one. Does that matter? You've got five. You're going to hit. You're definitely going to hit. This army is going to overwhelm the opponent with hits from those snipers. And because they have 36 inch range, they have pretty much, um, they can touch the back lines if you deploy them correctly. This is an awesome way to run these marquee units. Um, you can also run them as, as close combat focused, but, but running them as uh, marksman here is really good. And because they're green, you're actually pretty likely, and you have five, you're pretty likely to at least have one that upgrades to regular, um, which is extra good, right? So I really like this this build here. This is a strong build. One of the units has an extra man with a, um, a pistol, I guess, because he had a few extra points. Um, and those pistols will discourage charges a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Then we have the second platoon here, which has again the inexperienced lieutenant, and then partisan late war units. These are good because they get the Panzerfaust, of course. They're regulars. They have um, Daniel is building one rifleman and five submachine guns in each of these units, so they are pretty much push units. They're pretty expensive uh, for regular units, but they are also fairly strong. Um, and if you can uh, get some transport for them, they're pretty easy to transport up, get out, and then submachine gun something. And they're even better when you run them alongside the flamethrower, which he has a flamethrower here. Daniel is also bringing a machine gun team. These are not worth it unless you have some special rules for the event that makes them more worth it. Um, so I wouldn't run this. I would rather take another flamethrower team if I could. But again, this might be an issue of models as well. Then a medium mortar team uh, with a spotter. For me, this doesn't really need to be regular with a spotter especially because Daniel has so many uh, snipers that he's going to win the sniper duel. Um, so he could maybe get away with making it inexperienced and just having it sit in the open shooting out. Um, he has an, another sniper. That's the number six sniper in his, uh, in his army. This one regular. Um, 
I don't know, very, very strong army. This is this is winning all the sniper duels, isn't it? And the bazooka team, just for that extra heavy anti-tank, I love it. General purpose truck, 12-man capacity, pinlock mounted MMG. That can easily take these units of partisans, right? Because there are six men, each of them, so both of them could get in that, um, that truck. And then there's a civilian car that can transport the bazooka and all the flamer team. And then the final thing is, of course, he's bringing the Wurframen to, to try to force the enemy to approach him. So the enemy is going to run into a lot of shots, a lot of sniper shots. If the enemy is bringing small teams, he's as good as dead. Um, and uh, Daniel has some pretty good counter punch units here with the flamethrower and the submachine guns. This is going to be a difficult army to approach. Um, yeah, lovely army, Daniel. Thank you so much for sending it. Good luck.